Hi, it's Andrew again, and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create different uh, fragment menus. So by default, your main activity is what's going to hold the, uh, the action bars uh, menu items, um, like up here. But uh, you can override them and change it according to which fragment you're actually physically viewing on the, on the screen. So I'm going to actually use the swipey tabs. Um, example and I just modified it to change the the icon every time you switch it. The icon actually stays the same I didn't uh, change them but you can tell that they do something different because every single time you long press it it's going to tell you um, what what the icons title is or what the action bar items title is and also when you click it I have a little toast message that's going to say something different so when you switch to fragment two, you have a different item in fragment two. Fragment three, and you can tell it has a different name, fragment three. So to do this, you're going to have to override the um, the main activities uh, or invalidate the main activities um, action bar uh, and put in the one for specifically for a fragment. And it's actually very easy to do. Um, this example is going to use the action bar Sherlock. You want to make sure that when you're using Action Bar Sherlock, you use the exact um, uh, imports from Action Bar Sherlock and not from Android, because you will get errors and it will not work. Um, so what we did in the main activity, um, <clears throat> I just added a little, uh, uh, with, when the items are selected, that they put up the little toast message. Um, and created a, a menu layout for each item so this is how it looks it's just an item I set an icon to it which is the default icon for the application give it a name because you're gonna call that name here um, this is a little switch thing if you select item 1 here select item 2 select item 3 this is what's gonna be displayed and then uh, I gave it a title so this way when you long press it it shows the name of the of the icon and then uh, to display the icon, you want to make it show as action, so always. Um, you can change this to if room, which on any device, if you want to have one item on there, it'll it'll always be there, if room. Uh, but if you, let's say, you've stuck uh, a few items on here and you put if room, depending on the device, it'll either show the icon up there or it'll put it in um, a little drop down. Uh, like you probably have seen in several apps with the three dots. Alright, so each one of these looks exactly the same, just the text has been changed for each item. And uh, now each fragment, what you want to do is you want to do two things in each fragment. Uh, first thing is you want to add this um, on activity created. You want to have the set has options menu true. And this invalidates the one for the main activity and will put in your frag your options menu that you create down here. Now to call it, remember you have to have, if you're using uh, Action Bar Sherlock, you have to have the Action Bar Sherlock items. Um, you want to inflate your um, the menu item that you're that you've created here. So this is going to match over here. And it's that simple. Um, all you need to do is that, and every single time you, uh, if you want the button to do something, you can stick it in your main activity and just replace this text with um, what you want it to do. You can launch other activities. Um, uh, in my application, I have it where it flips the um, one card with another card, and um, I found a nice little uh, library for that which was pretty neat and normally you can just swipe it to flip the cards but since I'm act I'm using um, uh, an, a swipe menu on both sides it doesn't really work to swipe the menu because I swipe the card to flip the card onto another side because it uh, you'll be activating the, the sliding menu instead so I decided to just create a button in the action bar and this is how I did it uh, and you just replace this te te text here with what you want the button to do. You can launch a new view, you can do whatever. Uh, this is, you don't have to put the on click listener, it's already implied in here. So, whatever you would do for a button with the on click listener, 
just the code that will that your meat and potato codes would just need to go here you don't need to do set on click listener or stuff like that it's already built into the action bar items all right hope this helped you out and if you have any questions let me know